Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today I'm going to be talking about 10 common mistakes new guinea pig owners make. The first mistake that a lot of people make while adopting their very first guinea pig is that they get small items since their guinea pig is a baby. Instead of buying small items that only for your guinea pig when they're a baby, think of buying bigger sizes so that when they grow up you'll not have to buy bigger products. For example, when I got my guinea pigs, I bought a um, carrier which fitted all three of them and it was perfect for them at the time, but now when they grow up I had to buy a much bigger product. And when you get food bowls, keep in mind that when they will grow up you will have to feed them more and so the food bowl will have to be bigger. Overfeeding is a big misconception over new guinea pig owners. While getting your first guinea pig, you want to be ensured that your piggies are in good hands and that they are eating correctly. So you give them more freedom to more food so, they, so that they can feel more comfortable and don't starve. But this is very damaging to their health since they could get overweight. We all know how exciting it is to get your very first guinea pigs. The second you get them, you just want to carry them and play with them, but this is not good for them. Just think about it. They have been in their shelter for several months or days, and from one day to another, we're moving them to a different home and they don't know you, and they have to live in a totally different lifestyle, and are scared to death, and you are asking them to pick them up? They have been stuck in a carrier, and the only thing they want to do is just relax. So for some days, you'll have to leave them alone. Please don't carry them on their very first day or their very first week since this is very stressful for a new guinea pig. The diet of a guinea pig is a common mistake through new guinea pig owners. Maybe because guinea pigs need so many different food sources such as hay and veggies and much more that is just confusing. They will eat throughout the day and so it is important that they always have grass, hay and food available. Since guinea pigs are animals which do not produce vitamin C by themselves, we have to offer it to them. But sometimes they just don't have the choice and either don't have enough vitamin C or they don't have enough access to hay or water. Hay is 80% of the guinea pig's diet so they have to have access to it 24-7. When getting your guinea pig, the first months it is going to feel scared and a lot of owners don't know this. And they think that from day one your guinea pig will like you and play with you, but this is not true. Guinea pigs take several months to adapt to you, to your new environment, and to your routine. The first week your guinea pig has to get used to you. And if he or she runs away when you come, that is totally normal. It does not mean that he or she does not like you, it just means that they have to get used to you. Guinea pigs are very intelligent creatures. They can sense you by your footstep. Once they get used to knowing you, they're a lot of fun and it is hard to get detached from them. So I hope that these 5 common mistakes that a lot of people do help to get across them and hopefully you don't do them. Please give this a like and I would be very happy if you would like to subscribe to my channel and click that bell to get notified when I upload. I hope to upload more often and please write in the description bar a video request so I can mention you in my next week's video. Thank you for watching and see you in my next video. Bye!